So today I'm going to be discussing how to build a wrapper executable for Java program. This is my basic Java program here. It's going to print out the hello world and print out all the arguments that are on the command line, if there are any. This is a very important thing for building a standalone command line application is to put something to keep the window from automatically closing as soon as it finishes so that the user has time to read it. And what I've got here is just a simple scanner. Tell the person to hit enter to exit and then wait for the next line before it runs and finishes the program. So pretty simple. I'm going to take this. I'm going to compile it. Now, just to go over quickly how this is output in my workspace in the bin folder. This is output as a class. If I go to the command line here, I can type Java. hello world and that has to be the name of the class not the name of the file and it'll run there and I can also put my arguments here and it'll output them here as well perfect so that's the behavior that I'm expecting when we're all said and done now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna build a Java jar file it's the standard way that Java programs are done so we go to file export runnable jar file it's going to be under the java folder and select next you can work build an ant script if you'd like um, in this case I'm going to export and I'll go to the same folder here just to be consistent All right, that's done go ahead and hit finish what this will do is if you have a whole bunch of class files it packages it all into one jar file so it's a java archive file so now from the command line this time the commands is a little bit different but you type java hyphen jar for the first argument and then the name of it hello world dot jar run it and it'll work just like we expect it to just like that piece of cake so now we want to take this jar file and we want to turn it into an executable file to do that you're going to use this program called launch4 you can use any different wrapper but this is one of the easiest and simplest to use uh, you can download this and install it and it's called launch4j you go ahead and run it so now here are the things you need to do for a console program you select your output file so here I'm in uh, the hello world bin folder already so I'm going to choose hello world.exe and the jar file that it's coming from which is our hello world jar we just generated this is if you want to create only a launcher we're not going to check that under header you need to choose console and then under JRE you should put whatever your minimum JRE version that you support I don't really care I'm just gonna put something I don't think I'm supporting anything later so then you can select build wrapper it's gonna ask you to save it and again I don't really care what I call this config file but that would be if you wanted to keep the config and use it over and over again for the same building and there it is it says successfully created hello world.exe well how does this work well there's our executable I can double click it and run it and there we are the reason that this popped up nicely and didn't pop up and close away is because of that special code I added at the end so as soon as I'm done I can hit enter to exit so you can do this from the command line the most common thing that you'll see is someone create a shortcut for it so you can use this and you can put whatever arguments you want to put here I don't really care So then when you double click that shortcut, those are automatically input. So you can use this for setting different items in your code or whatever, whatever you want to use it for. 
but the point here that I want to make here is that even though the program has been wrapped and executable it's still passing through the argument so that's a very important thing if you're using that sort of stuff in Java so that's how you create an executable and it'll work from there and it'll work from the command line as well so there you go another thing there are lots more features here in launch 4j you can you can choose an icon for the executable instead of this dull looking application icon here so you can set that here you can you can do all sorts of things you can create splash screens for it but uh, that's just the basic stuff so play around with it enjoy and the last thing I want to cover here is just briefly let remind you that you can use these ant scripts to automate building the native executable you can use an ant script for automating building the Java and that's pretty much it so enjoy <laughs>